Hello, everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be just holding my camera. So I'm going to try really hard to keep it steady. Um, but I just wanted to show you something that I'm going to try today. And I certainly hope that this works. So I bought this mug warmer on Amazon. Okay, I'm going to turn it to the lowest setting here, which is 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually, I forgot you have to have something on it for it to turn on, which actually is a nice safety precaution. I'm going to be putting a little bit of water in here. Just a little water. Okay, and then I'm going to be putting this bowl, this little plastic bowl here, um, because this is a little flat on the bottom, but just want to make it a little flatter. So that bowl kind of floats. I'm going to take my just my part A of my four hour demold J Diction epoxy resin. I really like it. It just cures really clear. But um, the last time I used it, I had some bubbles and I know it was because my resin was too cold. So I am going to just heat it up here for a minute and I'm going to give it just maybe, I don't know, instead of trying to get a warm water bath where you're trying to keep your water warm, I'm going to just attempt to do it in this. And actually, I think I'll go ahead and fill up this little yellow bowl a little more. There we go. I'll be back in five minutes and we'll see how it's doing. See you then. Okay, so I feel like this is probably warm enough to use now. I, I um, turned it up for just a few minutes to the 149 Fahrenheit. Then I turned it back down to 131. It's just been sitting in this little warm bath and it's one nice thing about this is I don't have to worry about checking it you know checking the water temperature to make sure that it's staying warm it's just kind of a nice slightly warm so I'm gonna take this turn this off and take it in and mix it and then we'll go ahead and get started I'll see you then okay so I've got this made up here there is a little more than eight ounces in here and I had to stir it for a good gosh, maybe eight minutes to get it really well blended. Um, and it's feeling kind of warm. I do have micro bubbles in here again, and I'm not really sure why. My resin is nice and warm. My room temperature here is probably about 68 or so degrees Fahrenheit. So I think what I'm going to do is just pour this in small layers and, um, then run my heat gun over it and see if I can get those to, to pop out of there. So we're going to be using this turtle mold. I like this one. It's deep, super glossy on the inside. I'm pretty sure I just got this on Amazon. But I'm going to take this. Uh, this is my Anaconda Super Chameleon Powder from Glitter and Crafts for You. And I want to just paint the outlines of the shell in here. Okay. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to try to get it just to stay kind of in the area I want. Gosh, it's going to be. It's going to be kind of streaky. I can already tell. Okay, now I'm going to take a little, this is looking a little bit messy, but that's all right. Check my temperature of my resin. I'm going to take a little bit of a bigger brush now. I'm not sure where all my paint brushes are. I'm going to take one about this, like this, and I'm going to go around in here in this, just this inner rim. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of cleanup work in here. Can you see how pretty that looks so far? Really pretty. We got all the way down in there inside the head. The super chameleon powder is so pretty. So I do have a little bit of cleanup to do. Um, so I'm going to just get a little bit here on my paintbrush. It might look kind of cool with some of that still in there. 
but I don't know. Mm, yeah, that might have made it worse, actually. I need to kind of do damage control. I'm just going to kind of make some circles in the center. Since I started to try to take that off, and that didn't work very well. So I just went ahead and just did little circles really light with that mica powder because I was going to try to clean up the dust that blew all around. But then, well, actually, you know what? I think this light is not on. Gosh, that's better. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, all this time I had, I didn't have this light. But now you can really kind of see a little bit better how that looks with the light on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour just a bit about like that. It's really hard to tell if there's any bubbles in this or not. I'd like to be able to put this in my bubble machine and try it out finally. That resiners bubble machine, I finally took it out of the box, but I have not used it, but I filled my cup too, too high, so I can't use it on this. Just kind of hoping this doing this in layers is going to help. Be careful, it's probably getting pretty warm in there. Do see some bubbles in there. Now my resin's starting to get a bit warmer. I'm going to go right up to that rim before it goes into the legs. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a second and let those bubbles come up again. And then I'm going to go over it again with the heat gun. And then otherwise, I'm going to let this part cure before we do the next step. Okay? So I will see you back here when this part is cured. All right, I'll see you then. I am back. And this actually, it's only been sitting about two hours. And it is already like hard cured. But, um, but we are not going to take it out yet. So what we're going to do now is I have these little pieces of film that I got from Timu. Okay, they come in these kind of strips. Oops, I thought I only had two strips. I've got blue and actually green and this. And I think what I'm going to do is just use these. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm not sure how this is going to work yet. But I'm going to take the part that's like the really metallic-y part and face it on the downward part of my turtle. And I'm going to try to just cut like some little strips in there. See if I can get this to do what I want it to do. I don't know. These came in strips that are kind of like the shape of a, like a bookmark or something. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm first, I'm going to just take my heat gun. If I can get this to stop sticking to me, definitely wants to stick kind of staticky stick. Get off there. Okay. Let's try that and take my heat gun and go over it real quick and see if I can get it to kind of adhere to that. No, 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 wrong way. I'm going to just use this popsicle stick. Kind of hold things there. There we go. Just kind of melt it on there. Got a big clump right there. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. But let's see.
I need a smaller heat gun. Okay, so that one's going to do it that way. I have a heat gun that is just, you know, a, not a great big thing like this. One that's just kind of more, uh, kind of like a wand. But what I've got plugged in right now is that great big one. So now let's try some green over the top of it. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if I should have done green and then blue. I think it would matter. Does the side matter? I'm not sure if the side matters, but this part here looks a bit looks a bit um, like the other side has a little bit of a better color. This stuff came all kind of like folded up, so it just wants to curl. <sighs> it's kind of a pain, but I don't know. Might be okay in the long run. Let's see, what if we did these and what if we just let them like curl like that? Like this. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. Let's see, maybe we can... Break this up a bit. I'm going to have to do it like piece by piece, I think. Hmm, it doesn't want to stick. They don't want to stick together. Hmm. I guess I'm kind of confused by that. Okay, that's what I want it to do. I want it to stay like that, though. Got my black flashlight. Maybe I'll just try putting a little bit of UV resin on there, just to kind of get it to stick. It's not. What am I doing wrong, you guys? I've been wanting to try this for a while, but I just kind of want it to stay in this section there. Okay, so, I mean, the color is super pretty. Can you see? Can you see all the different colors in that green? I mean, those of you that use this kind of film probably already are really familiar with it. But I'm going to just put enough on here, enough um, UV light on here to get it to not move around. Let me see what happens if I use my heat gun again with the... Oops, I see smoke. Okay. That means I got a little too close. You see, I burned a hole. See? Oh, no. I burned a hole. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just fill this with a little bit of this blue. Unfortunately. Okay, now. Now, this time I'm going to go on low and not quite so close. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, I went on high last time and that was a mistake. <sighs> For crying out loud. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this before I ruin it completely and I'm going to go run it under my UV light. Okay. Just really quickly. I'll be right back. I ran it under the UV light just for a few minutes. And what I'm going to do now, or actually not a few minutes, I ran this under the UV light for about 90 seconds. Okay. And it took care of, of that. It's in there pretty good now. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, take my anaconda green, 
and we're going to do just a bit around the feet here, okay? Thinking about maybe just doing like in between. All right, now, let's see. This is what it looks like so far, okay? Now, I'm really kind of toying with, do I want to pour black? I kind of do, to be honest, but I don't want it to go underneath this. All right, well, I'm gonna make up some resin and I'll figure that out, okay? And then I'll be back, just a few minutes. See you then. Okay, I have got about eight ounces more of uh, the J-Diction for our demold made up, and I'm getting ready to pour it. And I've kind of decided that what I want to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and pour this in clear, and then I will come in and do a top coat. A top coat over the bottom if that makes any sense with black okay and i think that's still going to be enough to bring out the uh, chameleon powders but i don't want to risk any of the black getting underneath my film because that would ruin my whole project okay so i'm going to pour a little bit here on my just on my film part here to kind of help with bubbles And I don't want it all the way up to the top. Pretty close, but not all the way. And I've got to get inside that little piece of the tail. And make sure that it's gone up in here into the head. And I feel a hollow spot, so I don't think that it has gone into there. I'm going to go ahead and let some sink in through here. Okay, that should help that a bit. And then also this other end, I've got the tail. I'll make sure it's all inside of there. Get any bubble out of there that might be in it. Gosh, it's pretty from this side even. Super pretty. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pouring. I see I've got a little bit more room. I really just want just barely enough to come in and do the black. Just enough. I think I've got just about got it. I've just got just a couple of millimeters left to do a black back on it. And that's going to be just exactly what I want. So I'm going to come in here with my heat gun really quick. So now I'm going to put this over on the curing rack. I'm not going to put it in my curing machine because I don't want to take a chance of the film getting too hot and then, you know, kind of buckling up. Because you got to be careful with stickers or paper or anything like that that you're using. It can definitely curl and that can um, ruin your project. But here it is so far. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like when it's all done. All right, you guys, when it's done, come back and we'll do a black top and I'll be back. All right, everyone, our turtle here is completely cured and I'm ready to go ahead and do our dark background on this. And so I think what I'm going to do is maybe just mix up a little bit of just to make it a little quicker i don't know if i can wait long enough to put regular resin in here so i thought it might be nice just to go ahead and coat it with just a really light coat of black uv resin um 
so that I can have a little bit of satisfaction getting that done quicker. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just a tiny bit. I want it to make sure that it's still going to cure easily. Doesn't take very much of the India ink to make a really opaque black. If you're going to use black mica powder, it's going to take quite a bit to make it not uh, translucent at all. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and pour it a little bit on here. And then spread it out. Okay, so I'm going to stick this under the UV light. Okay, I'm going to hold this up a bit here because I think it would be a little too close if I had it sitting right there. All right, you guys, I'm excited to take this out of here. Let's see how this looks. And the we ended up um, putting it under that UV light for about three minutes. My double-sided light is in the other room, so that works out great for a little backup light. But I'm excited to see how this turned out. So there won't be black all over all of it. Oh, it looks like I got a little bubble in the tail, I can see. But I found on this turtle mold, it's easier if I start working from the back up to the head to get this demolded. I have no idea what to expect. I'm really hoping that it turns out. Hopefully I've got no bubbles around this head too. Now I didn't do any eyes in here, so I'm going to have to probably go in and paint some on. Gosh, that's pretty. Ah, even the head is pretty on that turtle. Okay. Are we ready to see what this is going to look like? Can't wait to see it. All right, let me turn my light around over here a little bit better so we can see it. And good luck. Here it goes. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that turned out really cool. Look, so this part of the shell is completely clear. We just did clear through the shell, painted a little bit of the um, mica powder on the inside here and through the lines, and you can see them. But what you really see in there is that film. Holy cow. That is really pretty. Now some little teeny tiny micro bubbles that attach themselves to that mold. And, you know, if I remember right, I did not spray it with alcohol first because, um, because I had that mica powder in there, but that's where that really benefits from doing that. But gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, I am really, really loving that effect. Look at that. What are your thoughts on that? And of course, I love this anaconda. Um, that's my favorite super chameleon powder. Really pretty. So, you know, I could come in and paint the eyes black. It would have been really kind of pretty if I would have done some of my little glass eyes in there. I just, honestly, I just did not think about it till it was a little too late. But um, I could actually just leave it alone. It's just so pretty this way. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I'll have to think about that if I want to give them some little black eyes. But, oh, I can't stop looking at that shell. I mean, it's just mesmerizing. You can't even tell why it's so pretty in there because it's so far underneath all that clear, you know, this deep worth of clear resin before that film. And so... Yeah, that is just really beautiful. Gosh, I'll tell you, if I saw that in a little gift shop or something, I'd probably buy it. 
I will get some pictures and post them at the end for you. And yeah, just doing that little quick coat of black on the back. That was super quick and easy. And I didn't have to wait, you know, some hours to get my final result, but I'm really loving it. All right. Let me know what you think. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.